Hi, thank you for having me. And um, um, like Raquel said, my name is Maria Muscosa Justa Just Cause. We're a um, tenant and immigrant rights, or housing and immigrant rights organization here in San Francisco that works with black and Latino homeowners, tenants, and immigrants. Um, and we have so many local protections for tenants here in San Francisco. And what we're seeing is that um, banks, because they, you know, they don't know the local law, most of the, the lawyers that are dealing with these foreclosures are from, from out of town. They're, they're not based in San Francisco. And there is no local contacts. A lot of the times, um, our tenants don't have, don't have anyone to contact and, and let them know the protections that they have. Um, recently, there were three single moms in the Excelsior who were living in a foreclosed property and were being wrong, they were going to be wrongfully evicted because they were being um, included in the whole in, in, in the foreclosure um, process. Tenants and, and, and homeowners should be treated very differently um, in, in that process, and, and a lot of times they're not. Um, thankfully, due in large part to the cre to, to how courageous the, the three mothers were and, and the work of both Causa Justa and the Housing Rights Committee, which we worked with, um, we were able to ensure that they were not evicted. They're, they're still in their homes, um, which is great, but uh, the, 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 the stress and the crisis that it was created in their families um, and, and the process to get there was astounding. There, were, there was a maze of phone numbers, and at every corner that we turned, there, there was somebody new telling us that it wasn't their job to prevent these families from being evicted. Um, and we, you know, we, were, we kept trying to see, who, well, whose job is it? Um, and there, there's so many flaws in the foreclosure process, um, and there's so many people in our community that are having their homes taken away. Anything that we can do here locally to hold banks accountable um, and de-incentivize them to foreclose on properties and evict is an incredible step towards um, towards having a solution to this foreclosure crisis, and it'll have ripple effects on a state level and a national level if we're, if we're able to say, you know what, here in San Francisco, we're holding banks accountable. Um, they have to pay transfer taxes, and in that way, they're, they're being de-incentivized from foreclosing. They're, they're working with families, they're working with, um, with homeowners, making sure that uh, no foreclosure happens. Um, I think summer 2012 should be the summer that no one leaves San Francisco. I think uh, this is the summer that we hold banks accountable, um, and this is the summer where locally we see our, our, our protections grow, and locally we start have, we start building a foundation where we can build um, statewide, and um, it's it's time for, for banks to, to, to really um, pay their fair share and stop um, taking uh, our homes from our, our our families, our um, our communities, and really um, stop destabilizing our neighborhoods. So thank you so much, um, and uh, this is a really important piece of legislation.